Hey everyone, welcome to Apogee Edge 4 minute videos for developers, season 26, episode 2. In this episode, we're going to discuss about a small disclaimer before you start the Apogee Edge private cloud journey. That's about maintenance and cost. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apogee platform. There is a misconception that on premise is actually cheap. Moving to the cloud, we have to pay a ton of money at the beginning. But actually, on-premise is costly, you need to think again before you take the decision of getting the software running on your own data centers and operating same. Let's talk about what are the different aspects and why you need to think again before taking the decision of considering the on-premises. Let's see the differences between Apogee Edge on-premises and Apogee Edge Cloud when it comes to the cost and operating same. Using Apogee Edge on-premises is like an iceberg. In the beginning, the Apogee Edge Cloud looks like costly and Apogee Edge on-premises looks like cheap when it comes to purchasing the software. But longer term, it's going to be a different case. Initially, the subscription fees of Apogee Edge Cloud looks like 70% of total cost of ownership of three years. But compared to that, on-premise, it looks like relatively less and cheap. Let's say 20% of total cost of ownership of three years. But what lies beneath the water is something different when it comes to on-premises and the total cost will be more than the cloud. Let's take a look at different aspects. Hidden costs involved in Apogee on-premises is huge compared to Apogee Edge Cloud. If you plan to use Apogee Edge on-premises, then you have to worry about the hardware cost because you have to procure the hardware, set up the hardware, get the power requirements and make sure those that hardware is up and running all the time. Then you have to worry about the maintenance of this hardware making sure it is up and all the time, investing the resources who will be maintaining this hardware. And you have to take care of the support considerations when you are maintaining the hardware. And you have to operate and install Apogee Edge software on this hardware machines. And again, you have to take care of the maintenance like upgrading the patches, installing the patches and all those things. And also you have to do the implementation and training of your resources who will be managing Apogee on-premises inside your data centers or private clouds. When it comes to Apogee Edge Cloud, the only thing that you need to worry about is API implementation and making sure they understand Apogee Edge platform, how to get started with building APIs. To conclude, you need to think twice before you go to the on-premises instead of Apogee Edge Cloud. Again, Apogee Edge Cloud, you don't need to worry about any of the operations or SLAs, Apogee takes care of it. You just focus on building your API programs. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you are interested to evaluate Apogee Edge, please reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in kamid.apogee.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the love for APIs. And also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated with all the new videos. Soon we'll be discussing more technical concepts related to Apogee Edge on-premises. Stay tuned.